When it comes to complex numbers, this is one area where I don't particularly like how the calculator handles it. It just doesn't seem intuitive to me. It seems somewhat backwards, but that's the way it's designed. And uh, I suppose once you get used to it, then you get used to it. So the way you would do it is you enter in your complex numbers into the stack like this. Your complex number one is going to be in your T and Z positions, and your number two is going to be in the Y and X positions. So if I wanted to enter a four plus J3 plus five minus J2, I'm an engineer, so I'm using J, then I would do uh, first the compl or the imaginary part. So I do three, enter four. I've got my first number. Then I'm gonna enter in the second number before I enter in the operation. So again, the imaginary part first, so a negative, oops. Uh, hit enter. Two, negative portion, hit enter, and five. So I've got all four of these numbers entered into the proper order now. If I want to add them in the complex realm, remember they're just numbers in the stack right now, then I have to do shift complex, and then what operation do I want to do? I want to add them. So this gives me the result in the X and Y registers. I have nine in the real, my swap, and I have one in the imaginary. So that's what I was expecting. If I wanted to divide these two numbers, say four plus J3 divided by five minus J2, then I would enter them in the same order. So I would enter in three first, then four, then negative two, and then five. So I've got all four numbers in the stack. And then I wanna do a complex and division. And this should give me 0.48 plus J.79. And if I wanted to swap those to polar, I could use the conversion right here. Swap to polar, that gives me 0.93 at angle 58.67. I can also use complex numbers to add vectors. So here I've got a vector of uh, different pounds, different forces. So I add in this first one. So I do 185, oops, sorry, I need to do the angle first. So 62, and then do 185. Now I need to convert that into rectangular for the stack. So use the conversion to rectangular. Now I need my second number, which is 143 for the angle, and 170 for the magnitude. Convert that into rectangular. Now I've got those four numbers in the stack. So I need to go ahead and use a complex addition on those. Complex, add. Now I just have two numbers, one complex number in the stack. So add this last value, enter in 261 as the angle, and 100 as the magnitude, convert it to rectangular, do a complex add on those, and that gives me negative 64 at and 166 in the imaginary. Convert it back to polar coordinates. And I've got 178 for the magnitude and 111 for the angle, which is what I figured I should have. So that's how you do complex numbers. Again, it's just a little arduous. I wish you could see both real and imaginary portion on the same line. I wish you could convert to polar without having to go through um, converting it to rectangular, but that's the way it is, and it works.